The first time the average price of a family home in Dublin has fallen by more than 50% since the height of the property boom. New figures from the Central Statistics Office show that a family home in Dublin costs less than half of what it would have fetched in February 2007. The CSO also says the rate of decline in residential prices nationally is accelerating. Prices fell more than 15% in the 12 months to October. Well, for more on this story, we're joined in studio by Dermot O'Leary of Good Body Stockbrokers. Uh, Dermot, thanks for coming in to us. This is the first time the official figures have shown that the cost of an average family home in Dublin is 50%, more than 50% below what it would have fetched in the boom. How significant is that? Well, I think, you know, the, the rate of decline reaching 50% is not significant in itself. You know, this is something we've been talking about, unfortunately, for, for about four and a half years, these property price declines. But what we have noticed over the past couple of months is that the rate of decline has actually accelerated. And there's a couple of reasons probably for that. We know that the domestic economy is still very, very weak. Uh, there's wider uncertainty around the, 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 the Eurozone. Um, but particularly the, the amount of mortgages uh, paid out um, have continued to fall and we had statistics last week which revealed that in 2011 the amount of mortgages issued will be back to levels last seen in 1971. So if you have these continuing uh, low, extremely low numbers in terms of mortgages, uh, you will continue to see price declines. So we've seen in some areas of the country, particularly Dublin, apartment prices fall by 60% and it would be our suspicion that the average prices in the country as a whole um, is going to be down by 60% uh, and, and the, the, the numbers, the official numbers will continue to indicate that. Uh, what is the situation outside Dublin? How bad is it? So we have a situation where outside Dublin prices are down by an average of 42%, so so less than, than, than what we've seen in Dublin. This is something that has been apparent uh, all of the way down. Uh, Dublin has been leading the way in terms of price declines. But uh, with the scale of oversupply in the country, particularly in parts of the country, particularly the Midlands, you would have to say that prices will continue, continue to decline. Now, the average uh, prices picked up in the official index have been lagging all the way. So we have seen in some parts of the country uh, prices are already down 60% plus uh, at the margin, but the, the official indices indicate overall 45%. Very briefly, when are we likely to see an upturn? That's a very, very difficult <laughs> question to answer, but you know the prerequisite for all of this is access to mortgage credit. Now, the banks would say that they're, they're, they're lending, they're open for business. Um, consumers would say they're not. It's, it's probably somewhere in between. Um, but certainly, I would think that demand is not back to 1971 levels. Uh, and until we see an increase in mortgage credit availability, um, we won't see a stabilisation in house prices. Okay, Dermot O'Leary, thank you very much.